Hello again, this is Doug the Two Minute Gardener and today we're going to talk about pool deck design ideas. So you're thinking about putting in a brand new pool or you're thinking about renovating your existing pool and you want to kind of look at the different things you can use for the pool deck. Now for those who don't know, the pool deck is just what the uh, flat surface around the pool is called. So we're going to look at some different choices and talk about the pros and cons of each. So first up is concrete now this is the most common material folks use for the pool deck for a couple of reasons one it's the most versatile you can conform to a wide range of different kinds of shape pool decks you can go around square pools round pools all kinds of flexibility there you can also get it in different colors now you see this particular one is a davis concrete color called palomino and so it has a slight tan fixture uh, tan color to it and it's really nice if that's you know you have earth tones in your house already so uh, concrete is also kind of nice in that you can also do different kinds of um, stamping and expansion joints to it to give it a little bit more color and finesse and detail work and then accent it with different types of stone facade and pool coping like this Talavera tile that you see here. Uh, this one's called Tuscany Riviera. So concrete is really great. It costs about ten dollars for the very least expensive gray on up to about twenty dollars if you do top cast with color and lots of detail finishing work so it's a really good choice for that kind of thing now you can also combine concrete with artificial turf as i've done on a few occasions the advantage there is that the artificial turf is cooler so it gives you a, a little bit a cooler area especially in compact areas to walk around now the disadvantage is those little pellets that you use the feeder since can sometimes get into the pool itself so in small low traffic areas artificial turf is really great another thing of course is tile now with tile you want to make sure you don't have slippery tile now um, lots of different tiles out there um, are really kind of neat for that purpose but make sure it's rated for outdoor use so it's not slippery like a porcelain tile and that kind of thing next on the list are pavers now I've done a couple of videos on this paver pool decks and one of the nice things about using pavers for pool deck is it is a porous material and it gives you lots of great colors because of the nature of paver manufacturing is that you have all these wonderful colors especially when the pavers are wet as you see in this particular video and it gives you kind of a, a neat texture to it now it's important with pavers and flagstone which we'll get to in just a second that you seal it as well because it can get stained so we'll talk about sealing pool decks in just a second but pavers are really kind of a neat thing they cost about 15 to 20 dollars a square foot lastly we have flagstone now flagstone is really beautiful but it is also the most expensive flagstone is created by laying a concrete pool deck and then they piece all these little flagstone units together now that is what makes it expensive the material is not expensive but the time to put all these little pieces together in this jigsaw is very labor intensive and that's what makes it expensive a flagstone pool deck over new concrete is going to cost 30 to 40 dollars a square foot so it is definitely more expensive and if you have a small pool deck that's not so bad a big pool deck you just have to be aware that it is going to be the most expensive of the choices but it is really really beautiful now i mentioned earlier that you have to make sure to seal all of these materials materials but it is especially true with pavers and flagstones because they're stone material they do absorb stains if you drop red wine on it it's going to be a red wine forever unless you spray it with a sealer and you want to do this about every four or five years on your pool deck it's not so much necessary with concrete although it would help with concrete but it definitely if you use pavers or flagstone you want to make sure to use it so there you go those are my five different recommendations for different pool deck choices concrete tile combinations of concrete with turf and pavers and flagstones so that's all the time we have for today there's more information in the video description on all of these materials and their choices and some links to some other web pages to give you some more information as well well that's it this is all the time we have this is doug the two minute gardener saying thank you so much for watching make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to get more of my garden videos 
Until next time, this is Doug saying thanks so much for watching.